the, the, one of the things is herd immunity. Well, I'm not even sure that herd immunity is even possible um, anymore. And there are a lot of scientists that don't feel that that is even possible because these new strains are so much more contagious um, that they are affecting the vaccinated people to some extent, that that makes herd immunity less likely. And this may be a situation where we are all eventually going to get COVID. In in and you better hope that when you get it, that you're vaccinated because the reality of it is your prognosis, if you're not, is far worse than than if you are. Um, the next... I'm a bit a little bit lost here because if you're saying that the variants are now affecting those who are vaccinated um that means if you're vaccinated you can be affected as well simple correct but yeah. you but if you are affected and you're vaccinated the chances that you're going to be affected severely or be hospitalized or die from it are far reduced but in order for herd immunity to occur mm -hmm. you have to have a significant amount of people who are vaccinated and vaccinated that can't get the disease. And that is where the numbers are starting to change um, with these new, with these variants, particularly the Delta. And they even have concern with this new one, this Mu one, as to how well, um, you know, vaccine. I mean, we all know so far, the vaccinations have been very protective against moderate to severe disease. Um, with this new variant, with Delta, even vaccinated people, some, not all, I mean, a minority, but enough of them can get infected at a mild level that it may make transmission of the this virus is Antique to the room. point where we have herd immunity not possible. That is the argument that is being made. Now, some believe that so, some don't. But um, if we continue to remain unvaccinated, those possibilities remain high, that we will never achieve herd immunity.